guys, welcome back to Tech Talk for Kids. It's me, Dominic. Today I'm going to show you my 3D printer. It's a Blackboard 3D printer, and I'm going to turn it on and turn my computer on and show you how to use it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have my computer turned on, and I'm going to show you how to turn this on. So first you plug it into the wall. Next, there's a switch on the back here that you just... Hold on, let me find it. Okay, you press it, and then you press this button once. You just gotta let it low, because it needs time to turn on. As you can see, the light's on, and you can hear the fans. So that means it's getting ready to turn on. It says Flashforge, Flashforge 3D Printer. The beep comes on, that means it's good to go. Mm. So then you click Preheat if you want to preheat it and then click you could choose uh, however much how, how, however hot you want it it can go up to about a thousand degrees I've never tried it before because that's really hot and just a warning you don't want to touch this. this this heats up to 220 degrees so don't touch that you can touch the rest of it don't touch here because that's a where the filament comes out and B it's really hot so I'm going to show you in the back where the filament goes. So filament goes in here. You could load it. Um, what, you can buy spools of filament for like $30 on Amazon. Um, I, I, this is orange in here right now. So uh, to load it, you go into tools, filament, then load. I already have it loaded. And if you want to unload, you click unload. And then it has to get, you got to give it time to heat up. And then once it gives it, once uh, you hear a beep, press this thing on the side down, it's a spring, and pull this out very slowly. So I'm going to show you how to print something. So on the computer, um, you'll need, it comes with a memory stick and a glue stick. I ran out of the one that came with it, so I'm using this. And then you can go to the, if you want to find something, this is where I find all my designs, on the website called Thingiverse. So go on to Thing Thingiverse. While that loads, um, I'll show you something else. So if you go to build here, I have, I can show you all my files. So these are just a few of the things. On this, on here, um, there's a whole lot of things. These are all the things that I printed. So, um, with the uh, memory stick, um, well, there's actually two, a USB port and then a gold connector port, which I use to plug into my computer. It really doesn't do anything. I think it just gives it better Wi-Fi. I just keep it, um, uh, keep it going so it goes, prints, prints a little bit faster. So, now that this is on, see, so you can go to explore things. Um, and then there's like a gigantic list of things. Or you could just search something at the top. So once you, say for an example, do these high heels. You click download all files. So it'll go out, if you're using Google Chrome, it'll come up here. If you're using Safari, it'll be up here. So then once it loaded, you drag it onto your desktop. Minimize this. And then you go, you right click it. Then you click extract all and click extract. You don't have to do this on a Mac. I'm just doing it on a PC. So then you could just X out of here. Go into, so on this, it comes with a flash print app. It's 16 gigabytes. It comes with a flash print app. So, and then you download it on your Windows or Mac or whatever you have. Let it load. Meanwhile, um, few things before you print it uh, if you use it every day you I would suggest for every day once every day um, for seven days wash this just use plain old water um, and then if this because this is just a regular sheet of paper if this ever rips or if it get, rips there's two QR codes and this is that's where you could buy new ones new glue sticks or the printer so this also comes out, which is pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, I have a whole bunch of glue stuck in here because I use a lot of glue just to make sure things stick. So the glue is for, before you 
print, take glue, just go back and forward, side to side. And um, you uh, you don't have to let the glue dry. Just you, I would suggest you have the printing page ready. I'll show you that after. And then just as soon as you're done and you put the glue cap back on, put the uh, dip print. Uh, so now that this is loaded, so you click load here. Let it load. So then you can, it on here, it holds with, um, it, uh, it sorts it by, um, uh, by, uh, letters. So this starts with an M, so we can go to, let me find it here. So many things on here. Okay, I can't find it, so I'm just going to do something else. So we could do... You can also print images on this using 3D print. So we're just going to do the puzzle plane. You're going to go files, engine A, whatever. You can either double click it or just click open. And then you just click yes here and I'll put it on the platform. So there's your maximum platform size here. So if you, if this, uh, if, let me move it here. So you, you can uh, edit your file. So if it does go out, that wall that the object went out, it would go and it wouldn't let you print. It would go red and it wouldn't let you print. And then these are just borders. Um, you could have it right on the border, like right here. Like if it hits the border, you're, it won't let you print. So, um, so now you click print and then you can choose your definition. So if you go hyper, it takes longer, high or slower, it takes, um, a little longer. And then the regular, it's okay. And then this is like, it's messiest work. It like goes back and forward and it, it doesn't look so good. So we now, so we choose that, oh, you just leave all this, you click okay. And then you choose, so these are where the memory sticks come in. I have three of them. So I'm going to use this one here because it's an empty one. I'm going to put it in. Here we go. And then you find it on here. So USB drive F. And then you could uh, choose, actually, yeah, you could choose it. So you could uh, change the file name. Then you click save. Let it save. I'm not going to print this because this would probably take a long time. I'm just going to do something else. So on the printer here, go to the main page, click build. Then you can, um, I'm just going to print something that I already know that doesn't take long. So go down, go down. Doggy, this takes two minutes. It's very small. It's like, uh, sorry about that. There was just a, my iPad storage was full. So now we're going to use my mom's phone. So there's a little bit of a technical mix up there. So back to this. Put some glue down, click build, and then it'll bring you up to this page. This is how hot it is, so it's heating up. And then this is how much time is left. And then this is um, your control. So if you click here, you could um, uh, change the filament color. If it's something, it has to be more than an hour in order to change the filament color. Um, this is uh, just to stop the print. And then this is um, pause and play. So we're just gonna watch this print and I'll tell you a little more about this. So up here, this is where the filament goes. The, these, you don't wanna touch these because these are wires that go from here all the way over to here. Um, and back here, there's the, this little notch here. Don't touch that or click it because that'll just, uh, I don't know what it does, but just I'm just suggesting not to touch that. Same thing here. There's a little circuit board here. Don't try not to get dust there. And then the tracks. There's a track here. There's a track here. There's a track here. And then there's this kind of just slides for extra support. Um. So down here is heating up. Um. So I'm gonna show you some different colors of filament that I have. Um. You could just watch that meanwhile. So this is what filament looks like. It uh, this is my blue color. So it's it's like plastic. 
and it melts it. It melts it in the 200 degree and it comes out here. Um, and then it takes about two seconds to dry, so you don't have to worry about it. It may be a little warm when you pull it off. So, um, yeah, let's just watch this here. So, um, the other thing that I want to tell you is, you probably want to clean this off, because these are all the extra filament falls. Or, I just scrape it all off, and then all of it falls onto here. And, um, I have a knife here, because you probably need it to cut off once, once it, um, is done printing. Um, it, it's, it's kind of hard to get off big things, like, um, a big pencil holder. I printed a huge pencil holder, a big nut and bolt, and, um, some other stuff. I'll show you that in the next video that I'm gonna do. Um, I'll show you everything that I printed. It'll be pretty awesome. Um, so, so um, inside of here is filament. It goes, it goes quite fast because, as you can see on the screen here, it is the, it's going up really fast, 40 percent, 41. And once it gets, to, once the green bar. Uh, once the green bar uh, gets across there, um, that means it's done. And then the platform will just come down and it'll make a beep sound and it'll say your print is done. It took however long. And it just estimates how much time is left. So it's not going to be like exact. This is actually takes three minutes to make. It estimates two minutes, but it actually takes three. It's very interesting to print. Um... It's very interesting, and at, and I'll leave a link to buy one of these if you want in the comments below. And yeah, you get these on Amazon for a lot of money. Um, and yeah, let's just watch this thing. It's almost done. It's working on the head. So, um, inside, if you're wondering what is inside of the object, um. Uh, it's called a honeycomb. It's when there's like, it's kind of hard to explain. It, it kind of looks like a beehive or something, like a beehive um, honeycomb. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's very interesting to watch. Um, it's worth it's worth the money getting one of these. Uh, there's I'm using the first generation. The second generation has wireless printing, so on the app I could uh, just click click print and it starts printing um uh, there's another thing called half oh it looks like it's done so it just comes down platform moves down slowly and as you can see it says a hundred percent zero minutes and it's starting to cool down and as you can see that's our little puppy so I'm just going to grab them off here. So this is what the puppy looks like. Ah, he's so small. Ah. Um, yeah. Uh, there's tiny ears. It, it turned out pretty well for the standard definition. Um, as you can see, I don't think you could see these, um, but there's tiny lines. It's how many layers it uses... This has, I think, like 15 layers of filament that it uses. It's pretty interesting. And as I was saying while well, it finished, there's another app called Happy 3D, which you could create 3D models like, and stuff. I use 3D Builder too. To, it comes with shapes that you could make pretty much anything. It's pretty cool. Um, well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.